a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hello and welcome back and thank you for making Morning Mindset a part of your day. Thank you for being out there in the listening audience. I truly appreciate it. Today, we're going to talk about being the first you. Yes, the first you. I've had the uh, fantastic opportunity throughout my adult life to mentor and coach and instruct young people. Uh, primarily through the 4-H program and the 4-H shooting sports program. I've had the opportunity to coach and mentor hundreds upon hundreds of young people. And young people are great to be around from a certain aspect because they're full of energy and many of them are at that point where they're asking a lot of questions, they're investigating, they're thinking, especially if they're you know, 13, 14, 15 years old, what they want to do with their lives. You know, and they say, I want to do this and I want to do that. And that's fantastic. That's the time when you should be thinking about what it is that you want to do with your life. You should have all kinds of goals. If you meet a teenager that doesn't have any goals or doesn't want to be the best at something or the greatest at something else, that's really sad. Uh, You know, many teenagers who uh, pick up a guitar dream that someday that they will be the next greatest whatever, you name it. I mean, depending on your generation, you know, your generation could be Jimi Hendrix or your generation could be Eric Clapton or it could, it could be, uh, you know, Eddie Van Halen or what have you, the, the next greatest guitar god. And often when I've talked to young people, especially teenagers, and about their aspirations and what they want to do with their lives and so forth, I'll tell them it's really good to have role models and people that you look up to. Everyone who has ever achieved greatness had mentors and role models. You know, if you go to Netflix and you search around uh, on the biography section, you, you find biographies about people who have done things, great things, and stood out. Uh, whoever they happen to be, it doesn't matter. There's lots of really good biographies out there. And, you know, when they go through, generally it's after the people have passed away, but they'll go through and they'll examine their life and they'll, they'll find out who the influences were. Uh, like when I was a young kid, Bruce Lee, er, er, every kid when I grew up knew who Bruce Lee was. Bruce Lee was the end all be all of martial arts heroes and champions in the world. And then after Bruce Lee, you had Chuck Norris and so forth. But if you look at the bio of Bruce Lee, you know, if you go and look at his bi- biography, he had definite role models and mentors. Fitness, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everybody knows Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Olympia, you know, one of the strongest men, and so on and so forth. Every, if you say Schwarzenegger, everybody knows strength, fitness, and so forth. But he had role models and so forth. But he became Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's not the second Arnold Schwarzenegger. He is the first Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bruce Lee is the first Bruce Lee. Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen had role models and so forth. But if you focus all of your time on, I want to be the next. And often, you know, when you're, you're working and you're trying to achieve and you're striving for greatness, you'll encounter people who are not striving for greatness. You run into the C students, the people who are content to be average. And they may throw barbs at you. They're like, what are you trying to be? You think you're going to be the next Bill Gates or, you know, fill in the blank here? You think you're going to be the next Rush Limbaugh? You think you're going to be the next blah, blah, blah. And what I would say to people, to these aspiring young people, and even if you're not a young person anymore, maybe you're a little bit older, maybe you're 20s, 30s, even 40s, don't worry about being the next Don't focus your time and effort on being the next whomever. You know, I don't don't know what your area of endeavor is or what you hope to accomplish in your life. 
And I'm sure there are people that you look up to. But instead of worrying about being, you know, and I take this from my youth, being the next Bruce Lee or the next Eddie Van Halen or the next Jimi Hendrix or the next Arnold Schwarzenegger, instead of worrying about that, focus on being the very first you. You know, when you say Bruce Lee or Jimi Hendrix or, you know, Eddie Van Halen, you know, when, when you talk about people who are the number one, the top of their field, the top 1% in their area of endeavor. Do you, when you talk about Chuck Norris, do you say Chuck Norris is the, he's the second Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris is the blank, blank. No, he's the first Chuck Norris, man. Bruce Lee's the first Bruce Lee. Uh, they are originals. Don't worry about trying to be the next whomever. Instead, focus your efforts on being the very first you. It's good to have role models. It is good to have coaches and people that you look up to. I mean, we all start, we all start out small. And we have areas of endeavor. We, you know, we want to be the best musician. We want to be the best athlete. We want to be the best whatever. And so we look and we say, hey, who do I want to emulate? Perhaps you have the opportunity to be a coach, to be a mentor, to help other people, to help young people. And that's the advice that I would suggest that you may give them. When it comes to whatever, practicing, education, you know, you're, you're reading about a subject, you're training, you're going to practice, what have you. Don't worry so much about being the next whomever. Instead, take the time to focus on being the first you. That's not a cop-out. That's actually a challenge. That is a challenge because it's hard to be the first you. Anybody can emulate someone else. Anybody can see what someone else has done and try and mimic that exact same thing to try and attempt to get the exact same results. That's not that difficult. Instead, what I would encourage you to do, if you want to be the greatest musician or the greatest baseball player, football player, athlete, whatever, scientist, app developer, focus instead on being the very first you. All right, folks, that's it. Quick down and dirty today. I am your host, Paul Markle, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort and we look forward to reading your honest feedback. 